Well, here's your host, Tom Dorado. Well, hello again, everyone. Welcome to the Pat Jones Show. The Oklahoma State Cowboys closed out the 1993 season this past weekend against 20th-ranked Kansas State. And, Pat, yet another one goes into the final seconds. Well, we've had quite a bit of that. I, thinking back on this, reflecting back on the season, you lost, you, we lost by two at Tempe. We lost by three at Ames. Now we lose by four to K, uh, K State and had lost by seven to KU. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you lump all those things in. And this this... I told those seniors, I said, that, boy, you wish there was some way you could just, anything you can do to let them walk out of there finally with a, with a, a, the feeling of, of victory and accomplishment and these sorts of things. We score and go ahead, as we'll see here later on, with 58 seconds left. And K-State drives the ball back down the field and, and really does a great job and scores with seconds left and wins the ball game. But I think, I think number one, you got to give K-State credit. There's reasons that they're ranked as high as they are. There's reasons they have led this league. And, and throwing, we had seen them take the ball in the latter stages and move it down the field on Nebraska and, mm -hmm. and have and, and throw it to end zone and these sorts of things. So no, this this was a very interesting ball game, and I, I was really extremely proud of our crowd. I thought they ran to it. I think it was very loyal. K State had a pretty good contention down. It's first time I've seen that really, but uh, no, it, it was a heck of a ball game. It was nip and tuck all the way, and we have first half highlights when we return to the Pat Jones Show. Welcome back to the Pat Jones Show, and Pat. It was also the last home game for the seniors this past weekend. This is an interesting collection of, of, of guys. Here you see Keith Burns, who who's, is a great example of a junior college guy that got himself in the right position at the right time and, and has really gone on and had a very good career. But you had a collection. There's some walk-on guys. There's some walk-on guys we had put on scholarship. You had some injured guys. You had some guys that had been around for a while and, and hadn't played much. And then you had Gildon Burns. You can see his first series here. We, we dropped the ball. I think Tony was a little bit antsy when we ran around naked. But... Anyway, going back to those seniors, and then you had uh, some of the marquee guys, Jason Gilden, who, who is the all-time leading uh, sacker in Oklahoma State history and some of these sorts of things. And I, like I told the media early on, I bet you there's not a group in this country here we punt the ball and Kansas State's going to get field, but there's not a group in this country. The seniors probably save those kids down to SMU that have been through as much and under as tough circumstances with the limitations that uh, directly relate to those sanctions here. We get a sack there, but... Uh, yeah, we're really proud of those guys, and there, there's some very, very loyal people in that group and, good, and some good football players. Yeah, you can see K-State now. Uh, we get them in long yardage here, and they uh, they really didn't do a whole lot running the ball throughout the course of the afternoon, but they broke the draw play and, and come out and came up short of first down. Now they throw for a first, but uh, this is a good – here, May drops a snap there, and they get it back, but – they have thrown the ball well, really, all season long. Yeah, there's t at times he'll throw it at a defender, which he did a couple of times, and we couldn't catch it. But by and large, their throwers and catchers are, are, are really good players. They, they've got a pretty good scheme. They'll, they'll, they'll check, and there's, we're swarming the ball good there. We moved around and, and, and messed around with them. Here they run an option and score. They hurt us with that little option several times, and, which they don't feature option, but they do run some run it enough to hurt you. Well, the Cowboys couldn't move on this next series. Came up third and short, had a punt, and now Kansas State has it back. Well, they, they stoned us or stopped us. They didn't say like stoned us, but they stopped us first couple of series. And I, our confidence was rattled, obviously, coming out of the OU ball game offensively. And we had given Tony Jones the majority of the work. That was a great sack and great move by Jason Gill. And watch him. This is, this is how you really how you get to be the all-time leading uh, sack right see he arm over he, he's got the burst and can accelerate and get around the corner he, he he'll certainly have a he chance he played with a lot of them well he has he's last. had a great career this guy is really really a, I, I think one of the real quality pass rushers in college football he's had a great career and really a good player so uh okay here we go repeat again they try to run a draw play we had a little stunt on and uh, javon langford the, the freshman there who's going to be a good player he, he's a guy that's going to be a good football player so we uh, we stop him there force the punt uh, come back in and, and there was a little bit of wind at, at K-State's back, but it wasn't a heck of a lot. So they punted the ball, got a good bounce. We had, like has happened to us several times here, we had trouble with field position. But we got bottled up. Here's Tony coming out, throws and hits Shannon Culver. Culver has had a, a couple of pretty good performances here and right at the end of his career. David Thompson uh, breaks. We'll see this. Thompson had a very good first half, and he got banged up and we couldn't play him in the second half. But again, David's come on and, and, and really improved as the season has gone on. And, He's another one of these young guys that, that, that has a real chance to be a good football player. Here we run the sweep to him. He gets out in the open field there. He made some nice runs. Well, you can see if you've been following us, he gets more aggressive, more aggressive every week. Run option play, and Tony made a nice little run on that. You can see him coming out. And 
doing the same. So Tony is still rusty, Tom, because he missed the um, pl month plus mm -hmm. when he was down with the shoulder. And because he won't admit it, it looks like the, to me the shoulder still bothers him a little bit throwing the ball. It is altered his motion. It looks like to me in practice that way, but he wants to play so bad and he's not a complainer at all. But runs here, you go, nice little move on the option right here. Fourth down play right oh, there. Yeah, yes, it was. that's right, fourth and three. We go, we do it. We went, we went for it several times. It's counter play that we were trying to get bounced outside, which we did. And Thompson runs up over the top of the guy and makes a nice move. We turn around and run a sweep here and, and, and their tackle whips us pretty good. We come in there, lost Vaughn. He hit this ball really well. It looked pretty good. It just, well, he pulled it a little bit. It did. I, I had a good, clear picture of it. He hit it solidly, but it just got outside the upright. Okay, good job, defense. Come back in. You can see them mixing around their shotgun and all this. And they, <coughs> excuse me, good lick here. But they, they did not miss Q a lot other than right here. This is the, this is Scotty Harmon has really been a good player for us. Watch this, and he's normally a very sure-handed guy. You catch it, you run in and score. Mm -hmm. This is what we were talking about. We said you got to be able to make plays. They're not going to throw a, a, a team as, as good as this. Throwing ball is not going to throw it right to you many times. This, it occurs later on with the linebacker. But when that happens, here's Thompson breaking outside, making a nice run right here. Very good run. That's a good 12-yard run. Let's watch a repeat of this. But you got to be able to make plays. You're not going to get a chance to that many times. And when it does occur, you got to take advantage of it. You can see that well, this this way to be strong and run through stuff like this. You can mm -hmm. see him here. And he's 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 a strong athlete, Tom, who who is a good lifter. He's going to be a pretty powerful guy here. Run play action over through Denson just a little bit, and, and they they make a break and made a good play. That's Randolph right there. They're, their secondary is really good. Randolph's going to be a high round pick. Mendez, the safety, is a good player. Uh, they're not easy to get by. Not easy to throw the ball. And they're very physical guys. Okay, here's another one. Here's another Richie Ainsley, who is a good player, who has had a very good career. Throw the ball and hits him right there in the throat, and he can't get, and he, we can't get it down. One of two near misses on this drive. We're going to see this next one right here. Well, they, I couldn't see this. They try to go deep and go into the corner, and we had somebody. Might have been was that Trent? Scott, oh, Scott. oh, okay, okay. Scotty Harmon. He has his hands on the ball, and they kind of batted away or something like this. But here again, uh, okay, they run the option, uh, pitch the ball. We had a bus. Uh, we had lined up offsides plus busted some. They score fourteen nothing. Now we get the ball way back and. Doesn't look real good for the fellas dressed in black at this particular time because we're down 14. Field position okay, now, tough Yeah, now we start digging out here. Nice throw. Good catch by Denson. I thought Denson had one of his better ball games. Here's a reverse to him. You can see this here. Denson gets loose. That's a way to accelerate and run. Uh, good run here by Rafael Denson. I, I think Denson played well. But uh, here we've had this in. We wanted to try to do it last week, but the, the rain and field position mm -hmm. really prevented us. But executed it well. And. Uh, we were able to do uh, execute this stuff a little bit better in practice because we let Tony have all the repetitions with the first unit. But good, good football play. Oh yeah, well, Denson, Denson has been a little bit nicked up, and I think he's had he kind of retained his health late in the season. Uh, here's David Thompson again. Uh, not very much. The counter play we, we ran a little bit more is pretty good to us. Okay. This. Yeah, we've got a chance right in here. Fred Thomas looked like Fred kind of stumbled a little bit, and then we come back and run the draw and don't make anything. Now we're going to punt him way back down there, but we dug out of a pretty good hole. We're, we're behind by 14. We got the ball on our own 10 or 12-yard line. We do knock out some first downs, make some plays, and now we give them bad field position. Uh, they got a holding call. This was really a very cleanly played ball game. I thought there were both teams that we uh, we threw the one interception, and, and they threw uh, what they said, one interception mm -hmm, or, sure or fumble. Or what, okay, there it is. Yeah, here's their turnover right there. Uh, May starts running around. Let's see what happens here. I can't remember who actually. Gildan stripped it loose. Okay, Gildan's going to knock the ball out of his hand. There, there you go. Richie Ainsley uh, falls on the ball. Good job of, of covering it up. We come in here. Okay, have a halfback pass call with Boogie Johnson. Nice job here. They actually had it covered, and he threw it to where basically either we were going to catch it or, 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 or it's going to be out of the back of the end zone, which was Mark Spatz. We break here. Now we, we run the fullback, same play. Don't make anything. Come back now. Uh, run Big Lewis. Adams make a little bit. He ran hard on short yards. Now, this boy, it's a good-looking play here. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got it defended. We can't knock them down. David Thompson, great job of staying with him and really bobbling the pitch a little bit. Yeah, you're going to look at it here. This is where we're getting better with these fishes. Again, true freshman, true freshman. You're running full speed. you got a bowl-bound K-State chasing you. He deals the ball out. Uh, and you're going full speed, and he does catch it. That's what I'm talking about, making plays. That thing did was, didn't come off like exactly it was designed, but we made plays. We caught it. We get in. Now it's uh, K-State 14, Oklahoma State 7. It's still very much a football game. We have the second half highlights coming up. Stay with us after this message. Well, it's 14-7 at half. Cowboys still very much into the football game, and 
for the most part, you had Coleman bottled up, but he makes his presence felt on the opening kickoff in the second half. Well, we, we hit a line shot here. Tyner has really had a good year kicking the ball. If he did miss hit this one, then we knew coming in, their return people are really, they're, they're dangerous folks. Uh, he's really dangerous here. Uh, Tyner uh, uh, almost got into it with him because he was upset because he missed his thing, but they come out and have good field position right off the get, which doesn't look good for us, but they throw the ball deep, don't do anything. Tried to run a little stretch play. And he ran, he splattered Link Harden pretty good, but we made the tackle here. Got a blitz on, come on, let's go, Eric Cobb's 42. Missed him. He comes out, tries to throw the ball down the field, and okay, Miles knocks it away. So we do stop him. That that was a very good series. That certainly we wanted to try to bottle them up and get field position, but the, the kickoff return got them out around midfield. We stopped him. We've got the ball now inside our own 20 yard line. Okay, come out and, and, and run the draw. and and don't really make much. Uh, K -State really, this is where David got. Oh hurt yeah, that's where David play. got dinged. He, he he had gotten he had gotten hurt a little bit in two days. He was a little bit groggy, and he'll be all right. But he uh, he just took a pretty good shot. It's a good it's a tough football. Uh, like I say, their return guys are, are, are pretty dangerous. It's good 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 coverage. Yeah, good group on a uh, good job on our punt coverage unit. Certainly was. Okay, come back here now, and they throw throw the ball deep. We had jumped off field now, jumped off sides. Now we I, I, we didn't really play that ball very well in the air. You can see they're throwing it uh, an uh, awful lot. Our shotguns and threw it down there. Okay, Harm. Now we get we get a penalty there, and and, and uh, I, you know we got excited and did some things that you know kind of that uh, we shouldn't ought to do. I, we just got excited. Is about all I can say. But now we come in here and stop. There's corner fire. Cleavon Williams. Uh, we've got him hit down in here. But the emotion really picked up at this well, point. Well, I, I think we were. Well, I think we were playing pretty hard anyway. In all honesty, I I, I don't know that that. Yeah, a big hit, which was a good clean hit. Mm -hmm. That wasn't what we got the penalty for. It was kind of the aftermath. But uh, no, I think we were playing pretty hard anyway. And all by all honesty, they come in now, in the in a right, the, the younger right brother from Stillwater here pulls it and misses it. Good job. So we've got uh, we've got them stopped. Now they get the ball right back. Right, that's correct. And uh, okay, throw and hit out here. So we, you can see we, now we we it wasn't because we were playing hard. We just missed some tackles in there, and they got off down in there. And it looks like that they've got to sneak it. Looks like they've got a chance. It's still 14 to seven. Run that option and got a circle. We had a blitz on Keith was supposed to run up field on the pitch and didn't do it. Okay, did they run the run the ball? Don't make anything. They've got it to five yard line, but we're banging them around pretty good. We had lined up offsides and one of the ends did. All right, they come back and run the ball again and uh, absolutely nothing. Come out, run this option. Good. There's okay, Gildon right there. Uh, Ainsley and crew, we had defended well this time, so they've got here. Try to run the little play. What's nice? This really a good-looking play here on Burns' part. He's got the guy covered. It, it uh, the ball, the guy bobbles the ball, and Keith makes a nice play. Give the ball back to the official and get on about your business. All right, here you come, come back out here, and all right, uh, well, there he goes right there, right out of his hands, and Keith's right. Yeah, okay. To pick it up. Well, in all honesty, the guy probably should have caught the ball, but at least we we were close enough around him. And Keith makes a good play, and. And we've got it. I'm, already blah, limping. I'm limping. Yeah, I blew my calf muscle out. Cowboys blocked. came up short on the third down. They have it again. Kansas State does. Well, we had, we uh, we had moved the ball a little bit, but now we're we're in, are we in the fourth? Yeah, that we're in the fourth right. quarter right now. Kansas State has got the ball. We're still behind by seven in tackle ball game. Stop them. All right, they they punt. Doesn't hit, hit it particularly well. We fair catch the ball at the. Uh, uh, 12 yard line starting on 87 yard drive okay, right yeah here. this for this crew offensively is, is pretty impressive against pretty good defensive unit boogie johnson now subbing for david thompson we could not play david in the second half but boogie who had had a little had some problems protecting the football last couple of weeks which is kind of a big no-no if you're playing running back okay but he, he did a nice job we'll see him get out here in traffic and he'll really wrap the do a nice job of, of protecting the ball right in there there you go boogie and that's a way to keep your feet moving Good run here, so we get a little, we get some momentum going. Here's uh, Joe Jefferson, fullback, makes a nice run. And K State's playing hard. It wasn't a matter of K State doing anything or continuing to play hard. Okay, run a bootleg, nice throw, nice catch from Tony Jones to Rafael Denson. So we're now we're down on their end of the field and have got some momentum. Turn around and run the sweep again to Boogie Johnson. That a boy, good good yardage. Keep on maneuvering it down the field. All right, run Boogie again. That's a way to fight and scratch. Uh, okay, here we go again. Run a counter play. We were blocking the counter a little bit different, and we got some plays out of it, particularly down this stretch. Okay, here's the fullback again. Uh, not much, a uh, little bit. Fullback again. And we got a fourth down play coming up. That, is, that is correct. That's going to be the pass to Culver. You're okay, talking yeah, about well, it right now. well, it was fourth and three, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and the debate was do you kick the field goal now? And, in all honesty, no quicker than we can. It's a great play here. Uh, no quick, no, we can't have a hard time making things happen in a hurry. I, in all honesty, I told the coaches, hey, I don't know whether we can get back down here that many times. We better go ahead and take a shot at it. 
run the sprint pass with Tony. This is this is this is making plays. This is what we're talking about. We say make plays, make plays. Again, that thing happened not quite like it was designed to do, but we made the play. Tony made a good throw. Culver made a nice catch. We try to run the sweep and get hit right in the head. Okay, here we go now. Try to run the quarterback throwback. Watch this stuff here. Boogie starts spinning all around. Just comes up, ricochets the ball to Denson. Denson gets in the end zone. This was. This is making plays. That's a vague term that coaches tend to use about things, but on the same hand, this now we, what we're going to try to do is pull up and throw the ball back to Tony. Their corner saw him and came out late. Boogie does a good job of not panicking and just kind of spinning around here. Denson was on the offside and just sees it. We had a, it was a call pass, so the linemen weren't downfield. Great effort by Rafael Denson. Good play. Now it's tied at 14 with, uh, what, seven, six, six, seven eight minutes. minutes to go, and eight. the race is on from here. Here we now. go. This really gets interesting. Now, they try to run the ball. Don't make a whole lot. Get in the shotgun. He comes back and throws. We knock the ball down. Now we they force us to punt. So there's, we're going to get the ball back with what, Tom? Six minutes left we're in the game. We're going to start our drive with six exactly. At the 15 yard line. So this is, we've had a good drive going, got a little bit, bit of momentum. Here's that counter play. We had a little crack back on it. Boogie Johnson gets out in the open field again, so we're across the 30 yard line. Here it comes back the other way. Don't make anything out of it. We're, we've got time left, but we're mixing things around. Tony coming out on a naked. Throws a good job by Fred Thomas III on the thing. Yeah, right, spats the fullback for nothing. K-State's fighting hard. Fourth down. Uh, oh, yeah, fourth and one from the 40-yard mm -hmm. line. Got to go for it. Go to give the ball to Big Lewis Adams. Good job, Lewis. That's a way to run hard up in there. He saw a little crack. All right, here's that counter play again to, to Boogie, and we get out in the open field. Good job by Boogie. You see the same thing. I don't know whether you can see the block. We had changed the blocking scheme a little bit on this, and we cracked with the receiver and get the lineman, one of the linemen out in front of him out here. You, again, hard to see. He does a good job of of making the corner miss, and so we're moving. This is this is good football right in here. These two very good, probably best two drives under pressure we've had all year. Boogie Johnson again on, on the sprint draw, breaking out the backside. There's a third down play. We sneak, no, sneak, no, make it. Uh, that was second down, sneak, mm -hmm. didn't make it. Third down, we sneak again and make it. Okay, here we come out. Turn around, pitch the ball. Looks like we've got a little bit of running room, but they made a nice play. We're back on. Still going to be a little bit of a long field goal for us. Sprint draw to Boogie. Looks like we had a chance to break out of it, and the linebacker made a nice play. Sprint pass. Tony comes out. Good throw, good catch. Now it's fourth down. Lawson Vaughn comes in the ball, and he hit this ball just pure as he could. That's about the extent of his range, and we were into a little bit of wind, and he kicked it through with plenty to spare. 58 seconds to go. I'm not sure, in all honesty, I hate to admit this, that we we were prepared to win when there was, we were giddy on the sidelines, which you kids will do, but that's where we were talking about. I heard one of our coaches talk, in fact, it was a group of secondary players right prior to us leaving the pregame meal. Hey, be prepared for a 60 minute ball game. First play, he scrambles, throws the ball away. We were, we never did jump into a prevent sort of defense. We played, we kept mixing some blitzes in there. They jump off sides. Okay, they come out and, and he's scrambling around. They hit this thing twice right on the sidelines, but they jump again, so they move back. There's there's under 40 seconds left in the game now. They have no timeouts left. Uh, here we again, we're running some twists and stuff up inside. There's Langford, throws the ball down and gets that thing caught right on the sideline again. Here he comes back. We had a blitz called right there. He throws the ball on the dead run. We had it played and came back. I thought well, that's the one we should have made. We have a blitz on again. He throws right up in front 27 of 27 seconds left. Uh, it's, oh, it's mad. Place is going wide. Now, we we got in behind Charles Verner. Uh, Charles interfered with him. I the guy might have caught the ball. As good a receiver as they are. I, I can't blame Charles. Wish we'd have him cover a little bit better. All right, here they come out. Run play action. This had been discussed. Somebody bit up and didn't, and didn't cover who they were supposed to. Boom. Kansas State 21, Oklahoma State 17. Boy, a gut wrencher, but that's it. 1993 is over. We'll take a peek into the future when we return to the Pat Jones Show. Well, taking a quick look back at this thing, Tom, which is a little bit painful. Again, I think if somebody could give me a wish, I'd, I'd wish for 20 more points. Right. You lose by two at Arizona State to a team that is going to be in a bowl game. Go back another week. We, we beat a pretty good Tulsa club over there, 16 to 10. Uh, we beat a TCU club here that went on and won four ball games. Probably the high water mark. You're ahead of Nebraska 13 to three at the half on national television to a Nebraska club that could end up being the national championship. Mm -hmm. I don't know necessarily think that, but they could. Then you get into a run of pretty tough stuff. You you lose one up at Ames by three when you were ahead. We come back and lose to a pretty good KU team here by a touchdown. 
You play, play pretty good at Colorado. You lose to a good club there. You don't do anything down at OU. Then you come back with, with a, with a bowl-bound K-State team. So uh, we thought going in that we had a chance with defense and kicking to remain close and to perhaps get us into something. I still think that. But uh, we've gone to overtime again. But for Tom Dorado and myself, Pat Jones, and for the crew here at ETS, uh, we certainly appreciate the, 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 everybody staying with us, and we'll see you later.